Hi guys, welcome to this video which is going to be looking at what a mole is in terms of the chemical world. To understand what a mole is then, we'll have a look at the definition to begin with. So the definition is, a mole is the number of particles of a certain substance. And one mole contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. That number is known as Avogadro's number or the Avogadro's constant. Now what that means is if I were to have one mole of sodium, for example, I would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. So that's 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of sodium, which is a lot. Now that may sound a little bit confusing. So what we're going to talk about is why this is useful. And we're going to use some examples to show you exactly what we're talking about. So when you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles of any atom or compound, what you will get is the mass of the compound will be the same as its atomic weight. So for example, if you were to have one mole of carbon, carbon has got atomic mass of 12, therefore you will have 12 grams of carbon present. This works the same with molecules. So in the case of N2, which has got two nitrogen atoms in and a molecular mass of 28, Therefore, one mole of nitrogen molecule would give you a mass of 28 grams. And finally, the same thing happens with compounds. So if I had methanol, which is CH3OH, I have one carbon, one oxygen and four hydrogens, which gives me an overall molecular mass of 32. Therefore, one mole of methanoic acid would give me a mass of 32 grams. Right, we have six questions to sum up this video then. The first one is, what is the definition of a mole, which is worth two marks? The second one is, what is Avogadro's number? The third one is, what is the mass in grams of one mole of sodium, which is an atomic mass of 23? Question four is, what is the mass in grams of one mole of a molecule of chlorine, Cl2? And the atomic mass for chlorine is 35.5. Question five is what is the mass in grams of one mole of water, H2O, where the atomic mass is one for hydrogen and 16 for oxygen. And then finally, a bit of a trickier one, what is the mass of 0.5 moles of a nitrogen molecule, N2, where the atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. So pause the video, go back, rewatch if you need a bit of help, and then let's see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's go through then. So what is the definition of a mole? This one's you've just got to learn. So the number of particles of a certain substance would be enough to get you two marks. Avogadro's number, also you have to learn it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And that gets you one mark for there. Then what is the mass in grams of one mole of sodium, which is an atomic mass of 23? So if you've got one sodium atom, if the atomic mass is 23, then the mass in grams will be 23 for one mole. What is the mass in grams of one mole of a molecule of chlorine, Cl2? So you've got two chlorine atoms, so 2 times 35.5 is 71. And if you've got one mole, it's therefore going to be 71 grams. Question 5. What is the mass in grams of one mole of water, H2O? So you've got two hydrogens and one oxygen, so that's 2 times 1 plus 16 gives you 18 grams. And then finally, the trickier one, what is the mass of 0.5 moles of a nitrogen molecule, N2? So start off working it out, N2, that's 2 times 14, so that's 28. It would be 28 grams if it was 1 mole, but it's half a mole, so you times that by 0.5 or divide by 2, which gives you 14 grams overall. So you get 1 mark for 14 times by 2, and 1 mark for multiplying that by 0.5. Okay, hopefully that's made it a little bit clearer. It is a tricky video to get your head around. If you're feeling confident, have a go at the review questions, which are more of the same. So question one, what is the mass in grams of one mole of potassium, which is an atomic mass of 39? Question two, what is the mass in grams of one mole of oxygen molecule, O2? And then question three, what is the mass in grams of one mole of glucose, C6H12O6? And that ends this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.